Zach Morris is trash. Zach Morris tells Kelly he's never felt this way, but he's extra double horned up and wants to go steady. Zach threatens to murder Kelly's interrupting brother. Wanna live till tomorrow? Then pushes her to answer. She needs to sleep on it. Zach whines for a kiss like an infant. Zach announces Bayside's hottest babe will be his any minute. Because of course she'll say yes. Then Zach sees a new woman and goes sparkle vision speechless. He's extra triple horned up. He didn't even know that was possible. She's Jennifer. I'm Zach. And I'm in love. Kelly who? Kelly has Zach's answer after poetry class. Zach doesn't give a squirrel's anus. Belding tells the school, it's time for flu shots. And don't be afraid of a little prick. There's a huge blonde one roaming the halls. Kelly reads her poem about a special someone. But while she's pouring her heart out, Zach daydreams away to Sparkle Town to instead hear that woman he just met. Belding calls in the first round of flu shots. Jesse needs glasses. She foolishly turns to Zach for support. Zach, do you think guys like girls who wear glasses? No way. Zach's not a fan of anything that helps a young lady see she's making a mistake. Turns out Jennifer is the new nurse. Zach goes full bozo mode, again, stammering and staring. Would you like to sit down? Oh no, I prefer being held. Gross and sad, then gives her the weird dead eyes. Who would ever want that? Truly awful. Let's see how Zach handles the best news ever. Well, I guess you know the answer. It's yes. That's great, Kel. So what was the question? Scum of the earth. Kelly suspects Zach is into someone else, which seems unlikely as Kelly is made of rainbows and joy, but Jesse will investigate. Zach's rehearsing his creepiest what's ups in his ugliest suit. Jesse wants answers. Zach makes her promise not to tell anyone, but he's in love with the new nurse. Barf. Jesse wonders how Kelly will take getting dumped. Zach says slow down with that dump talk. No reason he can't have a second, less hot girlfriend. You can own a Porsche and still ride the bus sometimes. Jesse, incredulous, asks if Zach plans to date them both. Sounds good to Zach, who fantasizes about a future where he's a famous surgeon, and Kelly and Jennifer assist his reckless malpractice in between sticky threesomes. Kelly wants intel. Jesse, honoring Zach's ass-covering vow of silence, says vague nothings, and is now complicitly constructing Kelly's road to misery. Zach limps in. He needs to see the nurse. Alone. Zach jogs away. Zach runs his slimy suit game on this poor woman trying to do her job. Oh, what can I do for you? Oh boy, now there's a question. Then mutters some inconsistent symptoms. Wonder what's going on in that body of yours. And closes with his I've got a boner face. Jennifer will be right back. But when Slater arrives for his shot, Zach thinks it's the nurse. He says he's in love. Through a curtain, with no eye contact, like all people who are serious about commitment do. Then wraps up his aggressively desperate sales pitch. This is the real thing. Don't fight it, just go with the flow. Slater has a fear of needles and offers to keep this quiet if Zack takes his flu shot for him. Zack tells Screech he did some soul searching and being faithful holds less appeal than banging around. But because losing Zack will crush Kelly, she'll need a human distraction from the agony who won't make Zack jealous. Wow, how thoughtful. Screech says Melvin from Chess Club is the perfect nerd who won't threaten his tiny ego. Zack, who wanted exclusivity yesterday, says they should see other people. Using a condescending mindless metaphor about how they're both nuts that need room to grow into trees. He really should have paid more attention in poetry class. Kelly wants to know if there's someone else. Zach promises there isn't another student. Mastering the art of not lying his ass off. Kelly is devastated and eternally angry at all men for being so blindly scorned without reason. Slater and Jesse talk in code about Zach's secret, but Lisa cracks the case. And because she didn't promise anything, tells the nurse. Jennifer is shocked and disgusted, but says she knows how to deal with sick people. Jennifer calls Zach in on what appears to be very casual Friday. She knows he likes her. And she hasn't been able to stop thinking about the nervous, mumbling virgin who can't dress for shit and keeps bugging her at work. Zack's nothing like her violent pro wrestler husband. Then she starts talking about marrying Zack and having kids. Fearing for his life and adult responsibilities beyond that of wearing a tie, Zack yells he has a girlfriend. A lie. And being scared to death has really made him come around on monogamy and not sexually harassing the faculty. Zack goes to Kelly's, but she's hanging with Melvin, who is way cooler and hotter than Zack. And Kelly is ready for someone who appreciates her and isn't a shady turd. And we never see Nurse Jennifer ever ever again, because the shame of violating her nurse's pledge to teach a youth a much-needed lesson was too much to bear, and she probably fucking killed herself. Let's review. Zach Morris badgered Kelly into a relationship to possess the prettiest girl in school, then forgot all about her, the first new woman he saw, and when he learned his crush is school staff, continued being gross and inappropriate. Then, when Kelly said yes, pretended he didn't know what she's talking about, causing intense mental anguish and confusion, while Zach very poorly tried to seduce this older woman, letting every friend 
friend know except Kelly. Then after breaking Kelly's heart, damaging all her future relationships, to pursue a thing that was never going to happen, and he couldn't handle, even if it did, had to be terrorized into wanting to make things right, and was bested by a guy he set up to be his deliberately inferior replacement. Only anyone is better than Zach Morris. Zach Morris is trash. Zach Morris is trash.